जाता है कि स्टाइल इज स्टेट ऑफ माइंड और आज इंडिया में स्टाइल इज ऑन एवरी वन माइंड ब्लेंडर्स प्राइड मैजिकल नाइट्स म्यूजिक सीरीज प्रोसेंस डिजाइनर डायरीज में हम जानेंगे इस स्टाइल रेवोल्यूशन के लीडर्स को अप क्लोज एंड पर्सनल इंडियन फैशन के सार्स एंड सारीनास की सक्सेस स्टोरीज उनकी लाइफ के उतार चढ़ाव और कैसे इन फैपुलर स्टाइल जीनियस ने बनाया इस दुनिया को अ मोस्ट स्टाइलिश प्लेस Kokushnel once said that fashion is something in the air. It's something which I think inherently is or not there. Blender's Bright Magical Nights music series presents Designer Diaries by Aaj hamare designer extraordinaire hai someone who sees fashion in everything. Inka forte create karna wearable art. Inke designs one more gorgeous than the other. For this dream weaver it's all about fantasy. So what are we waiting for? करते हैं इंडल्ज कुछ फैबुलस फैंटसीज में थ्रू द डिजाइनर डायरीज ऑफ नचिकेत बर्फे नचिकेत ने देखा अपना पहला हाई फैशन सपना एस अ लिटल बॉय सराउंडेड बाय अ पूरा खानदान ऑफ डॉक्टर्स the whole background at home was very sort of academic driven so dinner table conversation was catered around you know some patient having vomiting blood and you know sort of having a uh, ulcerative colitis so fashion i don't think came really from there but i got a lot of freedom to do what i wanted to do my earliest influences probably came from the national geographic readers digest uh, you know uh, some of the other the child craft series which sort of uh, i was gifted when i was about i think 4 or 5 years old even through school i was very keen on fashion but it just seemed like such a remote choice for a career given the background my parents you know uh, said why don't you finish your degree and you know sort of get a basic solid grounding in terms as far as education is concerned i chose to do bcom immediately after my uh, schooling because it was a career choice you know which would let me enough flexibility to choose any sort of a business eventually and two years i did distance education because i was living in auckland i was working in burger king you know doing the dishes cleaning the loos working in the kitchen like all of that so there was a sense of sort of doing work and a sense of independence which comes from that it was the most uh, tremendous time to be free to choose to see to think without pressure and that i think sort of further cemented the fact that i wanted to be a fashion designer So when I came back, I finished my TY BCom uh, exam through NM College and applied to NIFT and NID. I fortunately got through both, and I chose to join NID in 2001. It was a huge sort of a jolt out of the cold. It was a very sort of a grounding uh, exercise in learning and sort of a test of humility, because you realize that the world of design, the world of fashion, the world of material. is so much larger than what you just see in a autumn winter spring summer trend sort of a report that it really makes you want to take it one step back and sort of you tend to create your own material you learn to question you learn to ask questions of if this can be done why not something else and i think that is something which is which is sort of been a philosophy which has stayed with me forever National Institute of Design mein apni faculty ko inhone kiya impress with his inherent style sensibilities and the result a scholarship that took this go getter all the way to the fashion capital of the world Paris Paris was a wonderful learning experience everything from pleating to working with feathers to you know beading so all of those things are what i sort of worked on as a part of my project and then i did a 6 month internship with uh, michael kors at selly is a part of a international conglomerate so you know just the office where you have like tons of precious leathers lying around and you have you know a factory which sort of sends prototypes instantly from italy so just the exposure for a fashion student you know who is studying in andabad is such a massive leap that i think that exposure and the way of thinking and the way of looking at things in a holistic way how press kits are done how fittings take place how the like a global way of looking at a brand is looked at we learn to appreciate a different culture but not only that you also learn to appreciate your own culture i think what it brought about in me the whole stint was a renewed respect a renewed recognition and a 
through acknowledgement of my own indianness at that point i decided i really wanted to sort of maybe learn a little more in paris and then come back and sort of maybe start my own label in india apne paris stint ke baad nachiket ne kiya return back to india aur nid mein kuch mahine se khane ke baad he worked under the fabulous abu jani sandeep khosla After that, Delhi के एक टेक्सटाइल डिजाइनर के साथ साल भर काम करके नचिकेत ने किया रियलाइज कि इट वॉज टाइम टू पुट ऑल दैट ज्ञान टू गुड यूज एंटर मुंबई फैशन वीक का जेन नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम जो बना इनका फर्स्ट ब्रेक इन टू द इंडियन फैशन सर्किट You know, I remember I was in uh, Delhi, and you know, I was living in this little barsati in somewhere. And one morning, the paper came, and they had like this whole ad for the Gen Next program. And I was initially like, oh my god, like should I apply? Or how will it work? You know, like I don't know anything about the business side of it. And that's when I remember my father telling me, saying, if you don't start now, there's never a better time. Just start. So uh, my first garment was made in a little, you know, uh, tiny workshop in freezing cold somewhere on the outskirts of Delhi. It was a beautiful uh, sort of a blouse or full sleeve dress with a boat neck. I sent the form. I remember on my birthday in uh, 2007, and then the results came out, and then they said, you know, you are chosen as a part to show us Gen Next. And I remember I had a massive panic attack because I was like, uh, I don't know anything in Bombay. How do I start? लेकिन कहते हैं ना वेर दस ओ विल दस ओ वीज अ वे नचिकेत ने किया डिसाइड टू पुल अप हिस्स सॉक्स एंड जस्ट गो फॉर इट इस यंग टर्क को करना पड़ा ढेर सारा स्ट्रगल अपने कलेक्शन के लिए टेलर ढूंढने से लेके अपने सारे बटिंग आइडियाज को अपने फैशन लाइन में कन्वर्ट करने तक और आपका ये खुला फ्री दोनों ले छोड़ के यहाँ पे अंदर में टकने दो इसको और आपका बैक में जो है एक्स्ट्रा यहाँ पे करके इसको बारीक हेमिंग करके And then the boy knew nothing about the business of fashion, and it was his mentor Sandeep Khosla to the rescue. Costing se lekar baaki ke niche gritty stuck, in hoy nachke ko kya prep to face the big bad world. And the Singapore order, all of those have to be sort of uh, you know all the paperwork and stuff which is coordinated with the accounts department and get that finished. But and then of course there was no looking back. बाकी जीवन ये वाले सारे पैक कर दो चेकिंग करके हर एक में बीडिंग वीडिंग कहीं पे निकली नहीं है ना खाली एकदम लाइट पिंक के संभाल के वन लिटिल डार्क एंड first person to see the collection was uh, mrs jaya bachcha and she was like it's beautiful but you know nachiket i don't know who in india can wear these clothes she said it's very sophisticated but if you see the you know the sort of clothes being worn around it it takes a very niche customer who can understand this Gen Next के एक्सपीरियंस से इस यंग डिजाइनर ने सीखा कि अपने यूनिक स्टाइल में उन्हें थोड़े से मेन स्ट्रीम एलिमेंट्स ब्लेंड करने की जरूरत थी विदाउट ऑफ कॉस्ट लूसिंग द नचकेत बर्बे टच यू नो व्हाट इज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग आल्सो फॉर मी टू नोट द फैक्ट दैट हाउ पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सिटीज बाय द फैशन सो लाइक व्हाट डज रियली वेल इन दिल्ली फॉर्चूनेटली फॉर अस द सेम स्टाइल सॉर्ट ऑफ सीम टू डू वेरी वेरी वेल अक्रॉस इंडिया कैसे किया इन्होंने ये फाइन बैलेंस अचीव और क्या था इनके फेंटाबुलस करियर का टर्निंग पॉइंट जानेंगे जल्द ही इस ब्रेक के बाद ओनली ऑन ब्लेंडर्स प्राइड मैजिकल नाइट्स म्यूजिक सीरीज प्रोसेंस डिजाइनर डायरीज आज ब्लेंडर्स प्राइड मैजिकल नाइट्स म्यूजिक सीरीज प्रोसेम्स डिजाइनर डायरीज पर हम कर रहे हैं डिस्कस द फिनोमिनल राइज ऑफ नचकेत बर्वे द किंग ऑफ फैब्रिक टेक्सचर एंड स्ट्रक्चर आज इनके क्रिएशन होते हैं रिटेल आउट ऑफ थर्टी टू स्टोर वर्ल्ड ओवर पर क्या था वो स्पेशल मोमेंट जब इन्हें लगा वाओ आई थिंक आई वाइड a turning point i would say was in fact in the second collection itself when i remember we were so pressed for time sare sabke thread cutting ke liye checking karke sare jaane do i didn't even have time to sew the labels on so the clothes there was this new collection being made and there were just those 20 frocks and they were put on a rack and they were sort of i had to run to the restroom or whatever and so they were just left abandoned outside the trial like you know on the floor of the ncpa and somebody just said oh these are nachi kids clothes let's take them in So I think that sense of identification sort of started happening from the first second collection itself where there was something distinctive about the look and feel of the clothes and I think that is what is very very important
किसी भी डिजाइनर के लिए अपने कलेक्शन की आइडेंटिटी है द टॉप मोस्ट प्रायोरिटी अगर बिना लेबल पढ़े ही पीपल किन कैसे योर डिजाइन तो वेल योर बैंग ऑन बेबी लेबल नचकेत परवे की डिस्टिंग डिजाइन है आइडेंटिफाइबल फ्रॉम माइल्स अवे लेकिन क्या है इनका यू एस पी एज अ फैशन डिजाइनर यू हैव टू हैव सम टू से not only contemporary clever uh, commercially relevant but also something which is truly original because you know i mean we live in an increasingly globalized world and where clothes made in taiwan look like they're made in turkey look like they're made in sort of bangladesh or anywhere else what is it about a distinctive country a distinctive culture or a distinctive label which you know makes you want to buy it for its own sake i think there has to be that sense of identifiable originality yet something which is being said new every time a lot of time after the show you know people say what is new and i say what i do is a uh, it's a evolution it's not a revolution you don't have to jump hoops every season to say something new it's a it's a fluid it's like a river flowing you know so there is something which is happening new in every stage but it has to be a continuous dialogue that you create and not just like a flash in the pan you know where you say one thing one season and one thing another season i think that sense of consistent growth and like a chapter like story is very important i uh, truly enjoy playing with color i think you know even as a as a person like the first thing we notice about a thing is its color what do you feel like you like the idea of doing a black on black or does the idea of sort of uh, doing colorful backs i think the colorful backs is fun you know it will sort of give it a spin andar mein black kar denge then what you can do is try and do set so we don't waste fabric in that it evokes emotion there's a sense of something bold being said with it ha so three three colors you can use i think i don't know i don't think we've really used the purple so wo matlab nahi banega i think i think the red is too strong so i think one two three is what you can use as a backing for me it's important that the clothes that you make sort of be actually be ready to wear in real life for a special occasion or even for everyday use so while the silhouettes have to be such that they flatter the body do you want to keep this on dupatta or something or we'll do different drape with this event which we have not tried before yeah. one can have a sense of fantasy with the textile itself one can only in india can one do you know uh, absurd amounts of applique cut work texturizing dyeing do very small niche batches make each piece like a work of art you know what is really interesting also for me to note the fact that how people from different cities buy the fashion so like what does really well in delhi fortunately for us the same style sort of seem to do very very well across india at the price that we do and where it sort of differentiates itself from a product made internationally exquisite embroideries unexpected play of fabrics awesome cutwork and gari gari or chic fluid silhouettes hai label nachke barve ke trademarks and we are sure ke in sare gorgeous creations ke piche ke inspirations must be just as exciting wondering what they are let's ask the man himself influences came from these uh, you know foreign lands and you know exotic countries uh, a sense of wildlife nature forests uh, underwater creatures we've taken inspirations from the most eclectic things like there was a collection called toxin about couple of years ago which was inspired by you know uh, poison dart frogs and sea anemones and jellyfish and you know lionfish so all of these creatures which are toxic but are extremely beautiful to look at they the sense of uh, danger is conveyed through this sense of extreme beauty pura saadi jo hai apna jo sham mein sunset ke colors hota hai usme kya hua hai to sunset ka pura effect jo hai usme aana chahiye to saadi ka shading bhi usi andaaz se karenge i believe i'm essentially an ideas person so for me the it eureka moment is when you sort of come up with something which has not been seen before done before and you challenge yourself to create something and surprise the view nature exotic landscapes wildlife jaise beautiful visuals se inspire hokar man hi man kuch create karna is an achievement in itself lekin even more fascinating phase 2 from inspiration to execution well i think as a creative director for my company eventually it design is an individual's main role but you do need a team which is you know on the same vibe because it's important not to get carried away by only one point of view because at the end of the day the clothes have to be worn by people across a wider gamut you know a wider spectrum of people how do you like the idea of issuing this with the pit tux hmm so it could be quite exciting yeah. i like to sort of let people be 
but at the same time, I'm a control freak as far as the final product and the way it's communicated is concerned. Will you get it? Will you get it? Will you get it? For me, the finish, the lining, the way the clothes fall, the way they are kept, the way you know the seams are finished, the way the labels are stitched on, are all very very important details because it's not something which the customer may see. I mean, there are there are very few discerning people who will turn a garment inside out and see the finish. But it just has to that sense of honesty has to communicate in every aspect that the product is made, designed and sold. ये सारे checking करके हर एक में beading beading कहीं पे निकली नहीं है ना इसमें टिके नहीं निकली है ना सब कुछ चेक करके ये सारे जो डिटेल्स हैं इनको ये करके दाग तो कल चेक किए हुए हैं इनमें जिसमें हल्का सा स्त्री का जरूरत है वो स्त्री का ओह अ परफेक्शनिस्ट वी लाइक वी लाइक पैसे न चिकेव अपनी क्रिएटिविटी ले गए हैं काफी सारे प्लेग्राउंड्स तक इनके लिए लाइफस्टाइल इज ऑल अबाउट लग्जरी एंड फिटनेस नो वांट टू देम कि इन्होंने लगाया है अपना स्टैंप ऑफ डिजाइन एक्सेलेंस ऑन एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम होम डेकोर टू इंटीरियर प्रोडक्ट्स टू इवन आईपैड केसेस एंड एक्सेसरीज ऑल विद अ नचिकेव बर्बी ट्विस्ट Next up is designer Bar Excellence ka Bollywood Connect. Don't have a one muse per se be it in uh, film or be it in real life. I think there's a certain kind of woman who's you know well traveled, who's intelligent, who's confident, who has a sense of style and you know a sense of self awareness. Ah uh ah, -uh, not so fast. Time for a break now here on the Blender's Pride Magical Nights Music CDs presents Designer Diaries. See you in just a bit. All right, people. Blender's Pride Magical Nights Music Series presents Designer Diaries. पर आज हमारे साथ अपनी success story relive कर रहे हैं designing genius नचिकेत बर्वे. Western wear with a touch of India है इनका signature और इनकी design philosophy है hot couture is a two-way process. अपने हर customer का input इनके लिए है very important. लेकिन what about his most glamorous clientele? The B Town Glitter. मिस्टर और मिसेस बच्चन सीनियर को स्टाइल करने से लेकर टिंसल टाउन की स्टाइल डीवर्स सोनम ऐश्वर्या तपू और दीपिका को ड्रेप करने तक द मैन हैज डन इट ऑल लेकिन कौन है इनकी बॉलीवुड न्यूज अ डीवर ही इज डाइंग टू ड्रेस टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई डोंट हैव अ वन न्यूज पर से बी इट इन फिल्म और बी इट इन रियल लाइफ आई थिंक देयर इज अ सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ वुमेन हु इज यू नो वेल ट्रैवल who's intelligent who's confident who has a sense of style and you know a sense of self awareness i like sonam for a sense of adventure i like maybe dipika for a sense of carriage i like ashwara for her beauty i like mrs bachan for a sense of poise sophistication and style i like uh, say tabu for a oddness but confidence i think one is able to cater whoever to whoever in their own space rather than having a fixed idea of who you want to design for Well, he may love them all and not have a favorite, but he sure is a favorite. Who will say? Nachiket ka already high glam potion went up a few more notches. Chup inhone ki a present apna cocktail and party wear collection at the Blender's Pride Magical Night Fashion Tour. Excitement galore. Inherent ki people dress up for an occasion. So to sort of carry that sense of celebration, to carry that sense of party and bonhomie. into cocktail wear was what the essence of it was and we did sort of three cities and the reactions from everybody were very encouraging and positive and the models had a good time so it was it was a very good experience well we wish nachikeev many more career highs cheers to that mr barbe this is the blender's pride magical nights music cd's presents designer diaries signing off मिलेंगे फिर से अगले हफ्ते एक और एस डिजाइनर की डायरी में करने ऑन ज़ूम इंडिया नंबर वन बॉलीवुड चैनल हाय दिस इज उमर कुरैशी फॉलो जून टीवी ऑन ट्विटर एंड गेट बॉलीवुड न्यूज एंड है Just visit www.twitter.com/zoomtv.